In the midst of, of reported gang warfare in West Kingston, reports of unjust treatment by the security forces. Residents of Tivoli Gardens took to the streets today following an alleged incident between a 17-year-old and a member of the Jamaica Defense Force this week. It's not the type of welcome MP for West Kingston Desmond McKenzie is used to. But the tension in the air due to a flare-up of gang violence has left the people frustrated. The security forces have had to increase their presence as a result. However, some residents claim they're targeting the wrong people. Them take out my 17-year-old son, all time all the soldier them and then beat him. The head commander, the part anything move short, but couldn't defend me baby. It's what led to a protest Wednesday, but the police moved quickly to clear the roadway which had been blocked. As we found out, the incident in question happened Monday, but up to the time of the protest, a formal report had not been made to the police. Before you resort to all of this, make it be said and be known that you as the mom did something about what you're complaining about and you're not getting the redress, hence you're doing this. Okay. You haven't done anything, so you have no right doing well, I mean, this. I gotta say, I feel like I mean, I get no, justice. no, you can't say that. Yeah, if you have not approached true. something, yeah. you can't just claim that you're yeah. not going to get the justice. Yeah. Because I'm talking to you now, yeah. don't you feel like you're getting some level of justice? Yes, true. yes I feel so it. So you, you have to drop that notion that you have yeah. and do the right thing. This resident also claimed he was physically assaulted Monday, but again a formal report had not been made. And as more officials from the JCF came out, more stories of injustice. The residents are also upset that they've been asked to stay indoors hours before the nationwide curfew kicks in at 9 p.m., prompting this response by the police. Anyway, shot the fire, nothing can go on. I want to know it go. I mean, I always tell them. If shot now fire, we will make it go on. Hold on. In an interview with the journalists, MP Desmond McKenzie, while admitting that there are criminal elements in West Kingston, contended that the majority of citizens are law-abiding. There is a very good working relationship with the police and the community through its community relations unit. And we don't want to see that destroyed. But there are some elements of the security forces that don't want a cordial relationship with the people within the area and that is worrying me and as it relates to monday's incident we can't deny that elements did not engage the security forces the other night nobody can deny that because the evidence was there that it has happened and it is something that i condemn and will always condemn you know that is not what this community what west kingston is all about